Time to play with some clay. Alright, I came down last night and I figured out where I'm going to put the dog. I came down actually this morning at about 2.30 <laughs> a.m. But uh, I'm going to put the dog right here and I, I put a couple of pieces of wood to guide, to guide the, the dog into the right position. And uh, that's the position he's going to be in. I like, I like it. It works well with the design of the piece. I'm going to have to <coughs> increase the size of the uh, wood base uh, by about oh maybe two or three inches. All, all you know, in the front and the back, or the front and the side here. But uh, no big deal. I'm going to fill in this rock here. Um, I got too much hair on the dog. He's a, a Carolina dog, and uh, they tend to be a short-haired dog. Carolina dog is is a, an original breed of dog that roamed North America back oh thousands of years ago, as far as I know. Uh, it's the original dog of America. It it uh, somehow migrated from uh, Australia. The it's a di it's related to the dingo, the Australian dingo. It's called the American dingo too, I think. Anyway, that's the dog that's going to be with him, and uh, the story, the background story that I've come up with, is that the warrior is alerted to something that the dog has sensed, and you know how a dog is. They'll be breathing through their mouth and tongue hanging out and all that stuff and then all of a sudden they'll sense something and all everything shuts up the dog gets real quiet and he focuses on uh, the distance at or at whatever he senses and so that's alerted the uh, the guy who's standing watch over the village and uh, that's the storyline for Night Sentinel while looking at the uh, dog I noticed that uh, his eye, his right eye, was too far back. So I cut it last night, and I didn't uh, move it until now. But I'm just going to move it forward a little bit to bring it in alignment with the uh, other eye. Yeah, that looks better. I got work to do on the eye too, but at least now their his eyes are the same across. I filled in this uh, rock back here because uh, it didn't look good as a hollow <laughs> hollowed out rock it's going to add to the cost the more bronze the more copper used and uh, bronze is 90 some odd percent copper and uh, I'm charged per pound as a uh, extra charge for the weight of the uh, copper because copper changes price these days there have actually been brought, um, public statues that have been uh, stolen in a night by people long before people started pulling them down and uh, they were stealing them for the copper and they'd melt down the uh, 
the bronze and then sell the copper. People steal the power company wire all the time too for the copper. Okay, I'm just going to put the texture into the uh, rock like I did on the front of it. Yeah, even a dish brush <laughs> works in sculpting. I'll form this rock a little bit better as time goes by, but right now this will do. I got some uh, anatomy shots off of the uh, internet. It's not exactly the same dog, but it helps me see the anatomy of the dog a little bit better. And uh, I do need to make his ears bigger. I put uh, my clipboard up with the uh, pictures of the uh, different angles of the head of the Carolina dog. Now this is as far as I'm going to get today because I've got to stop so I can make the video for tonight and fix my dinner. <laughs> anyway, I'll pick this up uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and uh... <clears throat> I got some anatomy things to do with the neck and the front chest and uh, a little crack that appeared after I pushed the, the dog back a little bit.
I'm happy with how the face is turning out. I'm, so I'll probably take it off tomorrow. All right, good night, everybody, and have a great weekend. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.